Hello again everyone, this is Rudolph Wilkins of Forgotten Fitness and today I will be talking to you all about Larry Scott's lateral raise. This is bar none my favorite deltoid exercise and I am so excited to finally get to discuss it today for all of you. I first heard about this exercise some time ago thanks to an excellent video made by Carlos at Golden Era Bookworm. In it, he describes many of the nuances surrounding this lift. He also played a short video of Larry Scott teaching this exercise to the legendary 1980s bodybuilder Francis Benfato. It truly is a wonderful video, and if you're interested in watching it, I will drop a link in the description for those interested. In many ways, an exercise like this really encapsulates what made the early golden era of bodybuilding so amazing. This was a time of great innovation and experimentation in the gym. Larry Scott and his coach, the enigmatic Vince Gironda, were at the forefront of that innovation. As a young man, Larry Scott had noticeably very underdeveloped shoulders. In fact, Vince Gironda specifically altered a number of lifts to help fill out and widen Larry's frame. As Larry became more experienced, he started to experiment further with different angles and forms of various lifts. Out of that experimentation came this lift his version of the side lateral raise, which incorporates cheating to make it a real power movement. It really is a golden era gem. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about this lift, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And with all that out of the way, I hope you all enjoy this video. This version of Larry Scott's lateral raise can be found on page 114 of Loaded Guns. Before getting started, you will need a mirror, five to six sets of fixed non-adjustable dumbbells increasing by increments of five pounds and chalk which larry scott actually encouraged according to larry scott the deltoids do not grow faster when worked throughout the complete range of motion rather he recommended to utilize momentum to force the deltoid muscles to work past their failing point and only to perform the bottom three-fifths range of motion as cheat reps he also described the deltoids as being able to recover a lot quicker than other body parts, so you can train them more frequently. This exercise is essentially a Scott press on a horizontal plane, and for clarification, refer back to Golden Era Bookworms video in the description. Make sure to utilize the down the rack principle to get the most out of this exercise. Essentially what that is, is you will perform five drop sets of six reps, lowering the weight by increments of five pounds each time. You want to begin this exercise by standing in front of the mirror with those five sets of dumbbells in front of you, preferably on the rack. Make sure your hands are chalked up to prevent slippage and grasp the heaviest pair of dumbbells first. You will then dip your upper body down six to eight inches and cross the dumbbells over each other to create momentum. You will then bend over slightly at the hips and begin to raise the bells to shoulder height. One tip here is keep your shoulders down and pulled forward to help isolate the side and rear delts. Larry Scott mentions that you do not want to activate either your front deltoids or your traps because as he describes, they are bullies and overpower the other muscles. Once at the top of the movement, turn the dumbbells so that the little finger ends up slightly higher than the thumb. It, this is called pouring the water and was a common thing during the golden era of bodybuilding for various different lateral raises. Make sure to dip once again at the top of the movement as well to eliminate trap assistance. So you will dip once in the beginning and once at the top. Refer to golden era bookworms video in the description for reference. Imagine you are pressing the bells outwards slightly during each rep. This is something Larry Scott mentions to Francis Benfato in his instruction video. As the weight lowers, cross your arms once more to prepare for the next rep. And remember to watch your deltoids flex in the mirror to make sure you are only working the side and rear delts. On to the demonstration. So there are a lot of nuances in this lift. I will try to break them all down if I can. As you can see, I'm bent at the hips. My elbows are bent, and I'm utilizing a double dip here. I just finished my first set with the heaviest weight. I did six reps, and I'm going to do six reps with my next weight. 
You can see as my shoulders are pulled forward, I'm kind of in this hunched back position, which is intentional. It is supposed to help get the, remove the traps from the equation during the lift. And I can honestly say I don't have a mirror, but I was utilizing the a, a picture in front of me and the reflection, and I could see my rear delts and side delts flexing the entire time, and my side delts were not flexing at all, which is completely what you want to see. You can also see as I'm crossing the weight over, I, I essentially have one bell on top of the other, and this is the same way that Francis Benfato did it in his video with Larry Scott, and Larry Scott said his form was perfect, so I'm trying to mimic that as much as possible. But I've been doing these exercise, this exercise in particular for a very long time, uh, close to two years now, I would say. And so I have some experience with it, but it took me a very long time to get the form as good as it is now. And it's still not perfect, but just practice. Make sure you're rolling those shoulders forwards, that you are crossing over those bells, and that you are intentionally cheating here. This is not your standard side raise where it's super strict. This is a power movement. So I'm starting here with 30 pounds and I'm going all the way down to 10 pounds. But you could go heavier or you could go lighter just depending on your strength level. This is demonstration weight. Typically I'll do 35 as my first set, but it depends on the individual, of course. So if you follow these principles and if you follow this demonstration, I'm sure you'll be able to get the hang of it in no time. And I would definitely say give this exercise a try. It truly is wonderful. All right. If you have any questions about this, like I mentioned, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any future video ideas as well, please leave them down there. I plan to be making more videos throughout the entire summer. My first year of, of graduate school just ended, so I have a lot of free time. So leave your recommendations in the comment section below. But until next time, this is Forgotten Fitness signing out. Bye-bye.